Guyana joined with the rest of the world Tuesday in observing International Men's Day, which is celebrated annually to highlight positive masculinity, the well-being of men and the issues they face. The team this year is making a difference for men and boys. The Ghana Water Incorporated GWI on Tuesday hosted a symposium at the Regency Hotel in Georgetown to acknowledge the contribution of men in the workforce. Delivering the keynote address was one of the directors of the board, Dr. Wilbert Lee, who noted that there is too many sugar daddies in society. In our society, there are too many sugar daddies. Too many. We need to find or we need to develop in our society men with chests. And what do I mean with men with chests? Men who will have strong moral values. Men who wouldn't see the need to sexually molest their daughters. Men who will protect their families. And men who the society could look up to. Dr. Lee also pointed to the fact that there are not enough male teachers and male parents at home. He urged that fathers be more active in their children's lives and that men in general be responsible. He explained that men need to save themselves by hard work, protecting their families and not use their physical attributes to determine that they are a man. Meanwhile, Managing Director for GWI, Dr. Richard Van West Charles, noted that there needs to be more male role models for young boys. The Managing Director urged men to use this day and onward to reflect on their lives and to re-evaluate their values and contributions to society. Today, to my mind, is a day of, for reflection, a day for discourse on the role of the male in society as a whole, generally, but specifically in terms of the family, in terms of the community, in terms of his regions, in terms of his, the nation as a whole. And it calls for us to really reflect. Some of the topics discussed at the symposium include the male suicide rate, educational challenges, violence against men, challenges faced in parenting, and the negative portrayal of men among others. It was highlighted that GWI has teamed up with Chase's Academy to give 35 male employees the opportunity to complete their secondary education. Reporting for Newsroom, Esenalo Patuo.